quick uh, tutorial on how to ch calibrate your speed controllers using your NASE board. So what some of you may run into is the problem where you're going to arm your quadcopter and one of these motors might just start sputtering without any throttle input or you also come to the point where you go to throttle up but not all of them start at once. So one thing I want to um, eliminate first is the fact that you cannot just start your motors and leave it on the bench. One motor will eventually spool up to the maximum and the other will spool up to the minimum or spool down to the minimum. Um, that is because the PID loops in the algorithm is at work trying to level itself and because it's not able to level itself in space the motors are going to reach their maximums. So you cannot just spool it up on the bench and um, hope to have a good understanding of if it's working or not. So I'm just going to kind of show you how that sort of works. Plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, arm this and spool it up just a little bit. You'll notice that you can hear it. One side starting to rev up more than the other side. This side may actually even reach minimal throttle. But if I pick this up, you can see that it is responding. So we're not going to run that too long because that's not too good for the motors. It's actually getting a little warm. But um, what you can sometimes see is when you start spooling it up, this is a bad example because I already calibrated this, but actually let me, let me do a, a bad calibration so that you can understand what it looks like if you don't do this correctly. All right, so I just did a bad calibration with non-ideal settings. I'm going to spool this up and see what happens. See that? Um, can you see that? No. You know, I just want to hold it up here. So what you're going to notice is that not all the motors are going to spin up properly. You'll get some that sputter a little bit, some not at all. And actually, this one's not even responding at all. That's that's not good. Here, get a closer look. Yep. Terrible calibration. So. What can be going on here is that I have the, um, the minimum throttle and the minimum command, uh, they don't make sense right now. I have a, a lower or higher minimum command than minimum throttle. So these ESCs are all confused on what to do when um, their minimum is not met. It's a little hard to explain, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it correctly. Um, to do a proper speed controller calibration, we'll need the quad, the no props, transmitter, and connect it to the computer. So over here on clean flight we'll go over to um, the configurations make sure that minimum command we're going to set to the minimum throttle of your transmitter. So how you can find that out is actually let's come over here. Come over here to the receiver first and plug in your plug in your quad so that your receiver can get power. So right now I can see what my minimum and my maximum values are for my transmitter. Now I've trimmed these so that it um, is as close to a thousand and two thousand as possible. Same thing with my roll pitch and yaw. Um, they all get to their maximum mins at a thousand and two thousand. So that is the number I'm going to use. The minimum throttle on my transmitter when it's active going to be a minimum throttle that I put, I mean minimum command that I put here. So minimum command is minimum throttle and maximum throttle is obviously what the maximum throttle is. Save and reboot. I like to keep minimum throttle at 1075. Uh, this kicks in if you do not have motor stop engaged. So go ahead and we're going to go down to motors, unplug any batteries if you have. All right, click that, drag the switch up. Now plug this in. Okay, now unplug your battery. 
and you can go ahead and uncheck this or just navigate away from this page. So the important thing to notice is that make sure your minimum command is less than your minimum throttle. If you have a speed controller that has a minimum command program higher than minimum throttle, you'll get a very radical start or some motors may not even spin at all. So um, make sure you calibrate your speed controllers whenever you connect this to a new, speed, uh, new flight controller and make sure that your transmitter minimum throttle is the same as your minimum command. Ideally, you want to keep this over 1000. If your transmitter goes under 1000, let's say it's 985, trim that um, according to whatever the manual of your transmitter is, bring that up to 1000 before you proceed with this calibration. This way you can have um, everything is in the right range and it operates at the most optimal um, conditions, if you will. So go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, let me know if this works. If you have any, if you have any further questions or problems, uh, post them in the video and I'll try to make another one to explain what's going on. Okay? Thanks. Good luck.